Michael here at drawingteachers.com with another graffiti name. And this time we're going to do Emilio. We're going to start with an E. And then an M. And I. An L, an I, and an O. So now let's block out this letter with a serif right there on the E. We'll let this come down into it like so. this come out here like stick out like that. So I'll cut back and I'll come down and around and we're going to have it do something similar to this serif right down here. Let's see, let's make that kind of thick. All right, now for the M, let's have it connect in right here. And some rectangles here and here. And then we'll go ahead and complete this part of the M. All right, now for the I. Rectangle up there, one down here. And the section right in here. All right, and now the L. Let this drop down and have these come up right there. And another I. And for this O, let's do something that sort of just hooks around like this. All right, there we have Emilio. The way we've dropped all this down here, I think this I needs to drop down further. Didn't look quite quite balanced there. Let that drop down and we can make this O taller. So I always like to, after I'm finished sketching, take a look at it and see if it's it's balancing out. Look at the way, look at the way these shapes down here flow. So let me get the Sharpie. Start with the E. That's connected to the M. Just go right around with that. Come right down there. And right back up in there. And then we'll let that shoot right out the back there and come down. And around again, we're connecting with the M. We're going to have a piece right here, though, that shuts down. connects with the I, which connects with the L. Which connects with the I. And 
which will have connect with the O. So let me come back now and uh, work on this M here. Lots of interconnected letters here. Can get a little confusing at times. And that actually isn't what I wanted right there. I wanted to have that want to have that eye dip down here, but I've already done that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that off. And we're gonna let the O fill in the gap by dipping down a little lower. Something like that right there. And uh, we'll let that just connect over like that. So now let's take the kneaded eraser and clean this up. Starting with the O because I've got a lot of pencil lines there. couple adjustments here and some of these connections just enhance them a little bit with some marks where these letters bridge onto each other and let's go ahead and color this with a dark green Do that from the uh, bottom there. Come in with a blue from the top. And I'm going to come up across the middle with a brown color, a reddish brown, and do a kind of a chrome effect. Let's see, we've got to find a color here for this. Right here, what we need to do is we need to find a line across this. I'll just mark that very lightly. And we're going to come here and
mark that. And then I'm going to come down from that with a little bit of brown. This is a reddish brown. And now come in here with a yellow. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that down into here some. get purple right now and go around the whole design leaving a thin thin white border between this purple and the letters Almost done with this. And there we go. There is Emilio. And we'll go ahead and call that done.